Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauf with Remax Ocean Sound at MakeManYourHome.com. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about Acadia National Park. So let's do this. All right, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, today we're going to talk about Acadia National Park, one of the most visited national parks in the country. If you live in Maine and you're watching this, I guarantee you've had people from out of the state say, oh, I'm coming to Maine and I want to go see Acadia National Park. It happens to me all the time because um, it's awesome up there. So we're going to talk a lot about Acadia National Park today. Uh, let's jump right in. The first thing I want to talk about is where to stay when you get there. Acadia National Park is in Bar Harbor. There's a lot of great places to stay. You can go camping when you're up there. You can stay at hotels. There's some great bed and breakfasts up there. It's just a quintessential Maine town way up in like down east Maine. It's really awesome. So a lot of great places to say. Jumping into the National Park, what I want to say is there's a park loop, they call it, which you can drive around. You can take shuttles around. You can bike it. The park loop is really what the park is all about. You want to go around that whole loop and everything that we're going to talk about can be seen on this loop. So let's jump right in. The first thing that we want to talk about is Jordan Pond. Jordan Pond is a great freshwater pond there. You can't swim in it, but you can like paddle board and things like that. There's like a great wooden path there. There's some great trails there. There's a nice little shop there that you can get some great popovers. From what I understand, they are outstanding. It can get busy though, so uh, be careful. You might have to stay in line for these things, but get there early and get them. So if you get out to hike around the trails that are around Jordan Pond, uh, a couple things I just want to note. So half of it is like a wooden path and it can get narrow in spots, but it does widen out so you can let people pass. But there's a decent amount of like stop and go, you know, just because people are trying to pass and all that kind of stuff. So just be mindful of that. In the middle, there's also some very rocky sections that you just want to be, again, mindful of, making sure you have the right shoes on and be careful and all that stuff. The rest of it should be fairly smooth and a really, really nice trail. So, and, uh, and I definitely recommend enjoying that as well. Uh, the next thing to chat about is uh, Thunder Hole. It's a great cave system. It's a beautiful view. You know, if you time it right, so when the tide comes in, it's just like, it's almost like a geyser coming into it. Lots of great sounds to listen to. Really awesome. You might get wet, so be prepared for that. Thunder Hole is something that you don't want to miss when you're going on the park loop. The next thing is Cadillac Mountain. Great mountain to like drive up. You get some awesome views when you're up there. Beautiful sunset or sunrises. It's really incredible. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, when you're in Acadia Park, you can see Cadillac Mountain the whole time you're there. And it's really just a beautiful spot to go up to the top of and check out the view. So another thing to consider when you're going up to Cadillac Mountain is you do need to book an appointment to go up the mountain. So be mindful of that. Uh, but while you're there, there's some great trails up there and highly recommend uh, booking that appointment and getting up there and enjoy some of those trails. The other thing is the Sandy Beach. Beach. There is a beach at Cadia National Park. Absolutely beautiful. It's protected dunes. It's bird nesting. There's lots of great things to do when you're at the beach. The water in that area is a little bit cold. So I'm just going to warn you, when I was younger, we used to jump in there. It was like the type of cold where at certain times of year, you know, you get up to your ankles and your ankles start to freeze. <laughs> you know, and you almost got to like quickly move around. So if you're up there in like August, it'll probably be all right to jump right in. But I will say it's going to be cold. So be prepared to get in probably going to run right back out, but it's really refreshing on a hot day. So I do recommend that, but check out the beach while you're there. The last thing that we'll talk about is Otter Cove. Some great views at Otter Cove. It's a great cliff as well. If you get any kind of vertigo or get dizzy when you look down, like just be careful. It is absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend it. And again, check out the whole park loop. Make sure you do that when you're there and you'll be able to check out all of these things. Have you been on it before? Have you seen all of these things? Let me know. would love to hear from you. Any comments, comment below. Hit us up on uh, social media. Send me an email. Give me a call anytime if you have questions. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. I'm getting on